Good morning, loves. Tiffany White, Sage Woman. Today is October 31st, 2022. Happy Samhain, happy Halloween, magical time of the year. Although, you know, every day recently um, is magical. Most definitely can be as magical as you want it to be. I just, um, while having my morning coffee, look, but we can have coffee anytime. No matter what time you're watching this, have a cup of coffee with me. Ooh. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> Elixir of the gods. You know? <laughs> okay. So you have me here. Uh, morning time. This is who I am. Tiffany in the raw. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Uh, no makeup having my coffee, having a conversation with, with all of you. I just wanted to make a little bit of updates from my show last night, on the October 30th um, <clears throat> broadcast of my show, Spiritual Insight. I just a couple of little things this morning. It was, oh, okay, let's, um, a little more information, uh, maybe a better way on how to spend something because I really didn't want to upset anyone. Last night, uh, by anything that that I had said that wasn't the intention there. And in talking about the uh, positive and negative and how it is really a power source. And I brought up thinking about the battery. The battery, about how it has a positive side, negative side, and you need both. So that's energy. When we're talking about like that magnetic energy, the energy. And that's within us as, as well. We have that. We need to keep that in balance. So with that battery analogy, and, and as we move forward and as free energy is, is brought back into our awareness and is finally revealed and, and to us, to humanity, to be able to share and go forward with that, it, uh, the when you think of even the the horseshoe magnet that has the positive and the negative look at ancient ancient architecture that has um, a lot of arches arches what's that for because they understand the positive and the negative and they put it right on the on the particular spot of the earth on her ley lines to feed off the positive and negative too and now if we want to take it even further, us with our two legs as we're standing, we do have a positive negative side. This is the, the power of grounding. The negative and positive is brought up. And the masculine and feminine, negative, positive. It's energy. It's energy tying into grounding into this earth and her energy as well. And so it's, uh, it's, um, very powerful. It's, it's all about the magnetic energy and bringing us into power that way. So the negative and positive energy. And I know it's a lot is used interchangeably to sit like light and dark, dark and light. Is that energy? Dark and light is frequency. It's a sound, it's a frequency. And it's with each frequency we're in, um, we still have to have that balance. There's that negative and positive within that frequency. And as we are raising um, our consciousness into these upper frequencies, these upper densities, which is a higher frequency, okay, we want to make sure that we are in balance. So we'll be as painless as possible. Because then the other analogy that was given to me was this is the birthing process. And Yes, you know, okay, we're the midwives to help with the birthing process. Uh, all of us uh, beautiful spiritual um, avatars, or spiritual facilitators, uh, teachers, sure, but we're all, all students and teachers at the same time. And so it's, you know, this, this information be, being brought forward, uh, or just a reminder too, because I know it's been been talked about, but that as we're birthing this in, you know, we want to make sure that we are balanced in our energies. Because if not, then then think about like a breech baby. <laughs> if we're not balanced and we're maybe sideways and we're not ready to come through that birthing canal, um, or if we do, it's going to be quite painful. 
So this is the importance of the grounding, of centering, balancing, bringing the positive and negative back to center point, okay? And it will help the birthing process of these higher frequencies. It will be so much smoother, smoother for us. Will it make it easier? Yes, somewhat. Um, you know, it's not going to be 100% easy, but it's going to be easier than anything we've ever experienced. So let's, let's do that. Let's push <laughs> that imaginary easy button because is it, is it so easy to stay balanced no matter what's going on outside of us? Once you maintain that, you have it, it can't be taken away from you. You can get back to that very quickly. Um, and once you achieve that, okay, now I can get up into these, these, these frequencies and so dark and light, even it explains the range of frequency, uh, the spectrum. Thank you. The spectrum of frequency. And Keep in mind that source <laughs> source is the power is the ultimate power. We know that there, uh, yes, as we need the, the, the dark and the light spectrums, that frequency. And those that are evil are on that far end of that, that dark spectrum that is, is turned its back on light. The light doesn't want to be balanced, doesn't want to be centered, doesn't want any part to do with the light. And, and thinks that it can, can exist on its own without the light. Well, you can't separate from source. No matter how much destruction you cause and create, that's not going to happen. So, you know, um, what's going to happen to those evil want beings, those, those that do not want to turn back to the light, they will just go back to the uncreated mass of source, which means nothing is wasted here. Everything is recycled. All the energies. So they will lose their identity of who they are uh, and be recycled back as source energy and be used somewhere else in the universe and, and the other multiverses. All right. And so nothing, again, is wasted. Everything is recycled. And it's important, though, for us who have our identity, who have our voice, who have our sovereignty, our divinity, and that, that we are bringing everything back to that oneness state, to that oneness. And so I hope that that clears it up for you a little bit. If anyone had any confusion from last night, um, I wasn't feeling 100% last night when I did my show. Uh, but I went on anyway. And then I felt a pull in, in my energy. So I was paying attention to that and to what was being said, which we, we all do that multitask, multidimensional, multi-frequencies, multi, you know, we get pulled in all directions, but, you know, um, I got through it. And then I just wanted to, to make sure that I got the message across, um, that needed to be shared. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. So enjoy your coffee. Mm. Enjoy your coffee or your tea. Enjoy your day. Enjoy this evening, and let's just give gratitude and thanks to all our ancestors, to this planet, to this planet. Thank you, and for being a most generous, beautiful, gracious host ever, and uh, just keep working together, working together. That's what we need to do, is continue to not let anyone, anything, any group, any organization, any false leaders implement any more separation tactics to us. No more. We, we got you. We know what you're trying to do because you're separated doesn't mean we have to be like that either. No, we are balanced. We are working on that. We, you know, we are maintaining that balance on a daily basis, that balance, that center. And uh, because the masculine, the feminine, 
the positive, the negative type of energies is very much needed. And I'm even reminded here of like this, uh, real quick, this Vogel crystal that I have. This is the masculine part. This is the feminine part. Okay. This is Earth's battery. <laughs> Ooh, check it out. Very powerful. Anyway, whoo, Vogel crystal. All right. So maintain the balance. You are loved, appreciated, and I love and appreciate and honor each and every one of you. Keep shining brightly, dear brothers and sisters. We've got this, and uh, we're just going to keep right on ascending, um, smiling, kicking, and screaming at times, but we got this. So keep sh shining brightly, and much love to each of you.